Yo, Vincent Thiel here. We need to talk about the always-on HDR from the Netflix app on the Microsoft Xbox One X console and also the Sony PS4 Pro. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm a TV reviewer and professional calibrator. Here's the problem. The Netflix app from the Microsoft Xbox One X console and also the Sony PS4 Pro, when it detects that your TV is HDR capable, it will always send out a HDR signal, even though the source content is SDR or standard dynamic range. Here's an illustration. The crown on Netflix is actually only filmed in SDR or standard dynamic range, even though it is labeled as Ultra HD 4K. So it can be 4K in resolution, but the dynamic range is SDR. But when the Microsoft Xbox One X console and also the PS4 Pro, when they detect that your TV can do HDR, then the Netflix app will always force HDR to be on. It will always force convert any SDR titles on Netflix to HDR. This causes three main problems with LED LCD televisions, which will normally drive their backlight to maximum upon detection of a HDR signal. So I will outline these three main problems here. I'm going to do a split screen comparison. The left side is going to be the content played through the internal TV app, which will be maintaining SDR as SDR, whereas on the right will be the SDR content being forced to HDR through the Netflix app of the console. And as you can see here, the first problem is an elevated black level. Because the backlight is driven to the maximum value, then the blacks will be shallower than what you can see in SDR. And this high backlight value will also aggravate the many shortcomings of LED LCDs, such as hallowing or blooming artifacts, and also any backlight uniformity issues like clouding and also flash lighting. The second issue is in terms of the colors. Because of the backlight being driven to the maximum, it will also dilute the colors. Let's say the color red. If the blacks are inky, then it can be properly expressed as a rich red. But if your blacks are grayer, let's say due to the backlight being driven to maximum, then the addition of the gray to the red may actually make the red look pink rather than pure red. And this is just a simple analogy, but I hope you get what I mean. And as you can see, hopefully from the split screen comparison here, the colors on your right, that is force converting the SDR to HDR, is actually more washed out. The colors are less rich and vibrant than the SDR version, even though it is brighter. And this is entirely due to the contamination of the colors by the high backlight that is caused by the HDR signal. And last but not least, by driving the backlight to its maximum value, the power consumption naturally increases as well. Here, I've placed a power meter on both the SDR version and also the SDR to HDR conversion. And you can see that consistently, the power consumption is twice as much as the SDR version. So there you have it, just a short video to demonstrate the problems that are caused by the forced HDR conversion by the Netflix app on the Sony PS4 Pro and also the Microsoft One S and X consoles. Now, this issue has been present for a long time, probably since the beginning, and it was only until now that I managed to find time to do a video on it. Microsoft. Netflix and Sony, they are three of the biggest technology companies in the world. And I sincerely hope that they can work together to find a solution to this problem. Because Apple, another company, has recently issued a firmware update to allow SDR titles from Netflix to be displayed as SDR through the match content function added via a firmware update. So I really hope that Sony, Microsoft and Netflix they can work together to try and make this happen because as you can see, the false HDR function of the Netflix app on these consoles 
when it is applied to SDR titles, not only you are wasting energy, you are also causing the picture quality to deteriorate. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.